Hey everyone, watch the video. Over tomorrow's only main slate, Brandon DraftKings on the starts at 7 o'clock. I will do a little video going over my favorite plays from the early slate if you are playing that. I'm just going to record this one first because this is the main video for tomorrow. So anyway, before we continue, if you could leave a like, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate that. We're getting pretty close to a thousand, so I appreciate all the support you guys have given to the channel. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome when we hit a thousand. So like I said, I really appreciate it. If you could drop a like and subscribe. Anyway, if you want to follow me on Twitter, at ChrisPinnell16, that's just my YouTube name that adds 16 at the end, you can shoot me a DM asking for the cheat sheet, uh, it's got everything on it I use to make my cheat sheet, it's got the, uh, I got like 50 tabs on here, but the main thing here is the cheat sheet, the pitching, and the hitters tab, it's got everything you need on here, it's got the pitching model, all the stats you're going to need, updates, uh, daily pulls on live feed from websites like Fangraphs, and it's got projections on here as well and pretty much a whole dashboard of everything you need uh, even got Vegas although it's too early for the Vegas totals to come in but really everything you need for the hitters it's got all this uh, ISO versus whatever hand the pitcher is lefties all that and what time the game starts the opponent and all that pitcher so what the pitcher does versus each hand so and we also have bullpen data as well and the park factors so it's a uh, Pretty much an all-in-one thing. You has everything you need. I know today it had uh, uh, Anthony Rendon as the top projected batter, and he went double dong. So I do like it. I, it's got a lot of stuff on there. Took a lot of time putting that together. So if you want access to that, just uh, like I said, shoot medium. Anyway, enough about that. Let's get into the cheat sheet. So Justin Verlander is the top uh, pitching option on the slate, but I don't know if we actually need to go up there. But he's 11,300. I know the matchup is awful, but it's also awful for the Brewers, too. You have to think of it both ways, too. Because they, I mean, as much as you might think Verlander will struggle with all these uh, against the Brewers, they're, they probably are thinking the same thing. You know, they're like, like, oh, shoot, I gotta go against Verlander. So, and he's been very elite versus lefties. He's been better versus lefties than he has righties. And he's gonna see a ton of lefties. He's gonna see Yelich, Moustakas, Grandal, uh, Travis Shaw, and there's. Yellow, which if I didn't say him, but he's going to see some more as well. So I do think there's, you know, he's got strikeout upside. I wouldn't be surprised if he comes out dominating. Although at that price tag, there is enough risk for me to probably stay away. I don't think we're going to need to go all the way out there, but he might even be more of a good contrarian play. It is. I'm only doing this at 12 in the morning, so I don't know how ownership is going to look tomorrow. But just at a first glance, I could see him being lower owned than like Luke Casey or uh, Nicholas. So... I do think he is a decent GBP option, although probably not going to do it in cash just because he will give up some fly ball and, um, you know, he does give up some fly ball. So, I mean, if uh, Yelich gets a hold of one and there's some guys on base that could uh, really not work out if you're paying 11300 you're going to be pretty disappointed. So, I do think he's a nice GBP option. And then I think a more of a safer play at a better price tag is Joey Lucchese, 9600 I hate paying this much uh, for him, but... I hate paying this much for him, but uh, there's just not many good pitching uh, options on the slate. And I do think the Giants are a pretty weak team overall, especially versus lefties. And he did excel in this matchup earlier in the season, although it is a different Giants lineup now. But I do think it's a pretty decent matchup for him in a good pitcher's park. And then Miles Mikolas at 7,200. So uh, Michael Walker worked. Dakota Hudson worked. So let's try Mikolas for a third time in a row for these Cardinals pitchers versus Miami. It's just a soft matchup overall, and the lack of lefties in this lineup is good <clears throat> good for Mikolas, and it's a great pitcher's park as well. Then a catcher, Mitch Garver, 5100. So the Twins will see uh, Corey Guerin open up. Uh, he's a righty, and then the lefty, Tommy Malone, is going to follow. So I do love all the Twins righties tomorrow a lot. Probably going to stay away from the lefties just because, you know, probably no need to spend up for... Uh, you know, Rosario in a lefty on lefty matchup would rather get Cruz, but you'll see that later on. And then uh, Travis Darno at 3100 The price came up, but always like him when facing a lefty. I know last time we were facing a lefty, we played him, we went double dong. And then uh, Chance Cisco 3900 He's projected to back cleanup. I know it's really early in the day, but just looking at projections. And then uh, and Edwin Jackson is, is a total disaster. He's, man, he's terrible. As you're going to see, I like a lot of the Orioles bats versus him. And at first base, speaking of Oriole bats, uh, Trey Mancini, he's probably one of the top plays in the slate for me. He's 5,000, and he's been reverse splits during his career. Edwin And uh, Edwin Jackson is awful, especially versus righties. So we have two reverse splits guys, and he's uh, Edwin Jackson is giving up over, it's a smaller sample size, but he's giving up over a massive 
500 ISO given up to right-handed bats. So I think this is the perfect home run spot for Mancini. He's probably one of the top home run calls on the slate for me. So I do have him as a core play. And he's also eligible in the outfield as well. And then I see Jake Crown, 4,500. Always love him versus lefties. And he's over 400 ISO versus them. You guys all know my love for the Twins offense on a nightly basis. So definitely like me some CJ Crone. And then Reese Hoskins at 4,400. He has more powers versus power versus righties. And then Kelly's given up more power to righties. So it's a perfect match. Just kind of like Trey Mancini, two reverse splits guys so far. And then second base with Merrifield at 4,800. Always love him versus lefties and Montesi as well. And, uh, well, and uh, with Merrifield and Montesi have the best shot at stealing, stealing bags tomorrow, in my opinion, which I guess would be today, when you're ever you're watching this. And he also has three homers versus Daniel Norris as well, so some good v BVP there, too. And then Cesar Hernandez, 3,600. I'm sorry for uh, continually um, recommending him, but he's in another good spot. Uh, leading off versus a righty, I'm pretty sure. Um, so, yeah, righty. So I don't mind going back to Cesar Hernandez, but I do apologize for his inevitable um, zero points tomorrow. And then uh, Jonathan Villar at 4,600. Uh, really, I'll just take any single person versus Edmund Jackson, and Villar should be leading off, I'd imagine. And he's got pretty numbers, pretty good numbers versus righties. And I did say Edmund Jackson is really bad versus righties, but he's, um, he's also very bad versus lefties as well. So definitely like Villar. <clears throat> and then at third base, Vlad Guerrero Jr., 4,200, so Hess has been getting bombed by righties and has limited the power versus the lefties, so just give me the power righty here versus Hess. I believe uh, Hess has given up an ISO in the high 200s, maybe close to 300 for right versus righties, and has held lefties to 150, so I mean, not the best numbers, but pretty respectable, at least in the ISO department versus lefties. He's still giving up a lot of hard contact, but though he's been really letting the righties get uh, a lot of homers off of him. And then Miguel Sano, 4,600, just another power, uh, righty with power versus Malone. And then Marvin Gonzalez, really the same thing. He just doesn't have that much power, but he's still a decent play. And then at shortstop, we have Jorge Blanco, 5K. Just another Twins bat, uh, just love all the Twins. Jonathan Villar, we already talked about, and I already kind of went over Mondesi, just like that stolen base upside. And then in the high-priced outfield, uh, we have Dawson Cruz at 4,800. Uh, Cruz versus lefties is always one of the top, top home run plays of this slate. He does have two homers off of Malone, too. And then we already talked about Witt and Trey Mancini. And then the mid-range outfield, I'm liking Bryce Harper, 4,200. I know he hasn't done much, but I think he's gotten uh, two doubles the past two days, if I'm not mistaken. And I do love the Phillies versus Kelly. They might, they might go overlooked with that Orioles-Blue Jays game and the Twins, so... I'd be able to get them at a, that stack at a lower ownership, and I don't mind Bryce Harper versus a righty. And then Nick Castellanos, 4,100. Really like this play. I uh, love the price, and I always like him versus lefties. He's also seen Duffy a lot in his career. Duffy's a fly ball lefty, and uh, Castellanos uh, hits lefties very well. And he does have two homers off of him and a near 300 batting average and a pretty large sample size. I believe it's at 40 at-bats. So I do like Castellanos a lot. And then David Peralta, 4,400. So this one's easy to break down. Just F1 is good versus righties and not good versus lefties. And Peralta's the same way. He's good versus righties and uh, not that good versus lefties. So definitely like David Peralta. And then in the value outfield, Randall Gritchick. He really he should be more in the mid-range, but I ran out of spots. But I don't want to leave him off. And he's got over 200 ISO versus righties. And Hess has been awful versus righties. So I like Gritchick a lot. And then Chris Davis at 3,500. Still just a price play for someone with his home run upside. So if we go to some of the court plays, like I said, with the weather, I try to retweet as much as I can for the weather. It's just easier. If you guys follow those guys on Twitter, Kevin Roth and some other guy, I don't remember his name exactly. It's like DFS, some will be weather, something like that. Yeah, he's a good follow. And then in the court plays, we have Nicholas 7200. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my uh, other picture yet, but I know I'm probably going to have Nicholas as my SP2. And then with Merrifield, I really like. You can play him in any outfield or the second base. And then Trey Mancini, you can play him at first or the outfield, but I really like Trey Mancini a lot. And the top stacks for me are going to be the Twins, the Orioles, the Blue Jays, the Phillies, the Royals, and the D-back lefties. I don't think the D-back lefties will probably have any ownership tomorrow, so it's like Alex Avila, David Peralta, Eduardo Escobar, even Ketel Marte. So just all those guys. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for the video. Remember to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, but I appreciate that. Uh, follow me on Twitter at ChrisPinnell16, and best of luck tomorrow.